Welcome to the Comet uh, stand here at SMT Connect. Uh, glad to be joined by Yosha Moulin. Nice to see you, Yosha. Good to meet you, Trevor. Yeah. So, I mean, one of the things that's driving the X-ray business right now, of course, is, is miniaturization. You know, assemblies are getting smaller. Uh, they're also getting less visible because there's so many uh, bottom terminated components getting stacked, die, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, yeah. That must be feeding into your the sort of business that you do. Yeah, exactly. That's a that's a very valid point. Uh, pieces are getting or parts are getting smaller, mm. but also um, um, our uh, customers are building uh, mm. in, in height. So we are stacking layers over layers, and that makes the traditional approach of X-ray 2D uh, um, makes it not feasible to yes. detect uh, anything uh, in, of interest anymore. So you need three-dimensional information, mm -hmm. and there are um, ways to do that with the FIPSAM, for example, which is a destructive process and uh, also takes a lot of time. Right. Uh, and we have, uh, with our laminography, we offer an alternative. Within minutes, we are able to generate a very high resolution, three-dimensional image, mm -hmm. um, which uh, is very much feasible to detect any, uh, any difficulties in soldering connections, anything with the um, placement of components, uh, yeah, and verify uh, a new process for example, pr new process node, but also to uh, investigate failures that uh, you are always likely to encounter during a new pro process integration. Right, right, failure analysis, yeah. So, I mean, this is completely non-destructive, of course, and you can, your laminography can go down to any level, basically. So you can you can analyze the multi-layer buildup in the board, the interconnect, uh, or even the devices themselves inside the, the packages. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And especially in semiconductors, we see uh, structures of only a few micrometers in size. Mm -hmm. So with our laminography, we have to be right there. We have to get to uh, micrometer and sub-micrometer resolution mm -hmm. uh, to show our customers how uh, the solder connections in between uh, stacked dies, how, how they look uh, right. in the three-dimensional. What sort of resolution can you get down to with your systems? Well, in, in total, we get to uh, one micrometer and, huh. and just below. Um, yeah, it always depends how near you can get to the parts. Mm -hmm. um, so, but uh, uh, with uh, resolutions are still uh, need to improve more and more, and we are always working on improving and uh, yeah, putting an extra effort in there and increasing our quality. Okay. Okay. So, so give us a, a, an indication of the, the sort of um, configurations you're offering in your systems. I see you have a, a Cheetah EVO in the corner, and then you've got a Cougar over here. The Cheetah is the, the, the mainstream system that you have. Is that yeah. correct? Um, well, the, the Cougar and Cheetah systems, they are, um, they are both used uh, for electronics inspection. Mm. Um, uh, they are well suited to inspect PCBs or any flat devices because they both support 2D inspection, but also laminography mm -hmm, of mm -hmm. those devices. And laminography is what delivers you uh, the high resolution and allows you to look in between levels, uh, layers of components. So if you have right. uh, a, a PCB um, with parts on both sides, it mm -hmm. allows you to look at the solder connections uh, in between, for example, uh, under a BGA or under a QFN. Mm -hmm. um, but also in semiconductors, if you look inside the IC package, mm -hmm. uh, you are able to see the substrate level, the interposer, and the dies on top. Absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. And, yeah. No. So, um, are, are there, you know, what sort of challenges you run into when you go into some of these um, semiconductor components? I mean, is, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, I know in the AOI side, for example, they, they have problems with shiny devices and things like that. Mm -hmm. What are the challenges for X-ray? Well, uh, the, the challenge is, uh, is always the time. Yeah? Right. So in resolution, we consider ourselves as the experts. Mm. And the next challenge is, of course, customers want to inspect parts uh, near to their production. So we need to be fast and we need to analyze them automatically. So that mm -hmm. is the next step. Uh, it's not just about the image. It's also about getting the information from the image. Right. Yeah, and that's a, that's a very important step for us where we are investing a lot of work uh, in the past mm -hmm. years where we use uh, AI deep learning neural networks in fact uh, to extract information from those three dimensional volumes because right. uh, as soon as you get to a certain throughput no human 
would be able to extract those information in mm. real time. So we have uh, yeah, our automation, our AI um, extracting those information and giving the customer the data that he needs to uh, verify his processes. So you say that the, the AI is extracting the data. I mean, uh, what, do you, what do you mean by that? You, the the data is coming from um, the SPI and AOI to tell you where to look for, for the defect on the board? Because, I mean, it makes sense that you, you're not going to inspect the whole board. You, mm -hmm. You're going to go to an area of interest where mm -hmm. you think there might mm -hmm. be something going on. Yeah. Um, we have, uh, um, within Comet, we have a new technology uh, called Dragonfly, mm -hmm. uh, which is uh, the basis for our image analysis, so CT mm -hmm. volume analysis. Mm -hmm. So the, the CT data that our systems extract and reconstruct, they are analyzed by the Dragonfly software, mm -hmm. um, um, where uh, the deep learning network is used uh, to segment the components that can be seen, for example, solder connections, they would be made visible mm -hmm. by uh, uh, detecting uh, yeah, their shape. Right. And from those shapes, then automatically dimensions can be extracted, like a bump uh, height, bump y, bump weight, but also the position of the different components to each other. So often a tilt of a die or a bump uh, shift is very relevant for the placement of the components mm -hmm. and this is all based on the segmentation and the segmentation is done by yeah, uh, a deep neural network, uh, deep learning as we do, which okay. is based on training a mathematical network with uh, data um, and teaching it how to detect uh, the components in there and after it has learned that it's able to do that by itself. So, yeah. so, so how accurate is it? Yeah, that's a very good question, and this always that goes back to the time that mm. we are uh, available, uh, that we have available for the scans. Because mm. the shorter the scan gets, the more um, artifacts you see from just noise, because yeah. you uh, do not have enough information, mm -hmm. uh, and so the yeah the the, the noise expands, or uh, yeah artifacts from components that uh, blur the view, if you will. And so this is a really a trade-off. Mm -hmm. of uh, how fast you want to be versus how uh, how detailed so, you want to So be. how does that, so I mean, is, are you still using a, a manual operator to, to navigate around that board or are you putting the board in and setting this AI system in mm -hmm. motion mm -hmm. to, to determine the areas where there might be problems? Yeah. Well, and we support the, the whole range, basically. Mm -hmm. um, there are different scenarios which are possible. Um, of course, our systems, uh, they, they can still be used in manual inspection and the technology we offer with Dragonfly can also be used on individual images to, mm -hmm. uh, to find certain results. Of course, the strength of uh, such a deep learning is as soon as you have uh, recurring uh, views. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. if you have uh, a number of samples or a whole series production uh, which, have, yeah, which you want to verify, then with deep learning, you can get very fast results mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. on those. Uh, yeah. Okay. Serious. Mm -hmm. Okay. Great. So, uh, I mean, obviously, uh, you know, we've had a good show the, uh, this week. It's a uh, Productronica year. Uh, is there any big uh, news coming out uh, at Productronica later in the year? <laughs> any new products we can look forward to? Well, I, I don't want to give anything away, <laughs> um, but I can assure you that what we've talked about that is in the heart. Uh, of, of our development team and uh, yeah we are working on, on on big improvements in this direction okay uh, all right so. well, we'll look forward to seeing uh, you know things uh, when, when, when we get to uh, Munich in, in November so Jaska I want to thank you for for giving us uh, an insight into some of your miniaturization inspection uh, using 3d uh, and look forward to seeing when the new things come down the pipe in November you're very welcome, Trevor. Thank you so much for visiting and giving me the chance to, uh, to tell you about what we are offering.